take a morphe through what I do, you know. Um, I'll be honest, the way I draw is very much just me eyeballing and th figuring stuff out by just looking at it, but there's some like aspects I follow, so I'll, I'll try to show you guys what it is, but um, give me one sec. Also, what kind of food do you have, Wolfie? Is anything good? Wolfie? <laughs> 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 okay. Um, it's left over a tomato. So. so first things first, I like to paint in my skin tone because I'm weird like that. So you need to know where your light source is, right? And I don't think the lights, I wouldn't, when I do it, I don't really like to think of the light source as, um, as this kind of, uh, set in stone thing. It's just like, it's just to guide me, right? So with the, with this, with the, when you're paying the base tone in, you want to consider, always think about where that light's going and how it's reflecting on it. So sometimes, you know, I would just generally paint in the, uh, the tone. But if from the beginning you're thinking about light and dark and you're painting like a sculptor would almost, it really does help. So just painting it in. Um, this is this is our base layer. So it's just underneath the uh, the lineup. Following so far. And yep, uh, yep. about my brushes, just to mention it. I, for painting I usually use a brush with quite a high texture, so this one's quite good, it's like a, there's some in Photoshop like this, um, or on the internet, they have this nice textured um, look to it, but they also, you can blend them, right, so, so if, if you get some colour, you can easily blend these colours together, if you use the eyedropper tool, so that's just, just an idea. I like that. You like that? It's good, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So what kind of colours should we have her stuff in Wolfie? Is it like is this a strap? What is this? Is this like a something that wraps around her, right? Yeah. Okay. Cause this looks like it looks like her she's wearing like a shirt, but the shirt doesn't isn't even um like, you know? It's like it looks like it goes all the way down to here, does it? And obviously keep flipping our canvas just to make, see how it looks. I found myself muted. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I was asking if the purple layer is another layer on top of the base layer. This is just one layer still. One layer. Oh, this is still one layer? Okay. Oh, no. Ichi. Um, okay, so here I accidentally used that purple from earlier. But that's a good thing, you know, when you have those little mistakes like that. Because now... We're gonna go in with this like yellow kind of color, and look at how like saturated that is. It's really saturated, isn't it? If you were to just paint with this on there, it would look like crap. But if you paint with a light, a light touch, and then again, you need brushes which you can vary this kind of pressure, then you can essentially blend it in, and that looks pretty cool. It kind of works as well because it's away from the light, so it's gonna it's gonna be bluer. Like things in shadow, you can represent them with blue blue tones. Mm. You get me. A uh, question: Can you move the top left uh, color panel down a bit, so, so I can see where you're picking the colors from? Sure. How's that? Thank you. Uh, yeah, perfect. <laughs> okay. 
saturate it all the way on the top. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, so I the way I use the, the, the square color picker, but any will work. So like, when I try to find colors that work, um, let's say if I want to find a color that would complement this strong yellow, right? So let's paint the yellow in. Um, the way I'll do that is I'll just um, pick a color more saturated. So to the right is saturated, down is darker, and... I, wait, hang on, how's it work? Yeah, so left, so this, so if I were to go um left and down then that's desaturated and darker so when i'm picking a color to complement this yellow i'll just go to the right a bit so that's more saturated see so already and then i'll change the hue so i want it to be more red so i'll change the hue down to this kind of more red orange and there you go that works that's pretty well i would actually honestly go a bit more red and a bit more saturated there uh, more like more like something like this and then with a light touch, and then you can get the color you want. Well, that's a pretty good way to mix the color that works with that particular um, color, like hair, color, hair base tone. You probably mute again. Well, what's the more saturated color used for? Is it for shadow, or is it for? It's used for highlights. So you know, with with hair, right? There's a lot of it you don't want to be painting each strand you paint with the blocks of color and the shape of it so so on here because we got our light source which might be orange in color it's going to cast on the hair and it's going to make this a bit of a different hue because remember we're thinking in, in 3d right so mixing that in I'm bringing this up what's my music Let's play some of this. Because I kind of decided she should be, uh, I kind of want her to be like a ginger or something. I think that works. That's cute. That's, That's cute so far. It's pretty cute. Okay, so, face. When you do the, like, you know how eyes have that white bit around them? I don't like to just use like a strong white. I, what I like to do is I pick the um, the skin tone, right? And then I make it desaturated. So I'm moving it to the left, like we thought, we decided. And then I paint that in. It looks more natural, because it doesn't look like it's a strong, because when you see people's eyes in your life, they're not like always pure white, are they? They're like... I thought some people use light blue the eyeball. Mm, I find that doesn't look natural a lot of the time, but this way it does consistently. But but it is um like the blood blood cell. Mm -hmm. So it would be a bit red. Yeah, so you can you can um you can color it in based upon that. So like okay. now I'm going in I'm lightening it or whatever. You want it to add blue, right? So like that kind of blue. I guess it works. It's up to you how you want to do it though. These are just the way I do it. <laughs> Thanks for going through the detail. You're welcome. Tongues. That's just going to be that color. So I took a super saturated uh, red. Just painted it lightly in. Okay, I think she should have like a red choker. A lot of this just comes down to you just painting a lot, people just painting a lot and coloring in and you'll figure, you know, you'll realize which colors work well and what looks, what looks, what looks cool. Now, here I might be tempted to make a new layer because we've been working on one layer right now and just for the sake of in case we you know mess something up we can go back so that's what I'm gonna do so this is a bit in a bit of shadow we're gonna get a blue saturated blue paint a bit lightly and blend that in and there you go there's our shadow for like the 
the what do you call it the the shirt she's wearing the blouse I know what you call that <clears throat> just erase that because it's too much Muted all for you. I know, I'm just watching. So, even though our light source is on the left, you still get light around it. Because obviously, you don't, in real life, you don't just have, <laughs> you don't just have light coming from one direction, right? It goes around. So, on the edges, I like to paint a little bit of a light color, a lighter color, you know. Like, not just making it so towards the edge, you know, being able to consider that, it's pretty nice. Because then you can, it looks more complete that way. Mm -hmm. So now adding more dark saturated colours. blending looks like crayon I know because I'm just <laughs> it's actually so hard to like demonstrate some of this but we can when we have colors that we've used before we can just pick them again and use them elsewhere but you don't want to like what's the word use just the same colors you want to try using different colors like the more variation you have the better honestly Mm -hmm. So here I'm picking even more extra color, like different blue tones and like here's I'm gonna put super saturated blue. Mm -hmm. Just to keep it varied. I'm bringing some of this red in here as well. Oh. Take some of this yellow. Tails like brown, right? So you might be tempted just to be like, oh, it's a brown tail. Let me just paint all of it in brown. But the way I like to do is I just still think about like how the shape of the fur would be with the light and just paint it in that way. Because we don't need to paint every strand. We just need to paint the general idea. How do you blend sometimes and then paint over it sometimes? You just vary your pressure. So like so as you see on on, on the fur that's like a light that's this kind of stroke like oh I start with a high pressure then taper off but when I want to make the color stronger I do like this like hard pressure so it goes these for the fur and obviously I'm changing my size as well because if you change your size if it's bigger it's going to make a more blurred line so you can blend that in better you know and oh. then when, when I figure I'm also picking colors using in between the in between colors and then when you oh. get a good blend and you want to emphasize the edge you can do it with a hard pressure like adjust your size to have a hard pressure and even go in pick a different color like a stronger color and then like really get the edge in like this see what i mean get the edge in get the edge in wolfie get that edge in mm. Picking some of that color from the body. Because we're going to have to blend all this in because it looks a bit like 
weird at the moment. But um, or kind of like general. Okay, why is why is my music not auto playing as well? It should be. It's trying to listen to his heart. <laughs> <Is> it, <laughs> I don't know, disturb him. <laughs> Yeah. So I guess this is kind of one thing I do. I like to put these like colors in, like weird colors, like blue here, and just generally experiment with it. Just going along how I feel about it. So blue, but if it, you know, we can go in with a lighter touch, see how it changes some of the other colors. But it's on the brighter side. You still use the blue tone color on it. Yep. Because we can also bring in some here from the well on the darker side. Um, because remember, I might actually make this lighter or darker depending on it. It's just that you can build it up. Like obviously, it doesn't make sense how it's on the light. But I'm gonna go in again with like a lighter color, and then using this texture brush, I can bring back in a highlight. But you still have some of that saturation and like depth to it. See oh I mean? yeah, the edge. It, it's retained. Has... Yeah, yeah. So you still, because obviously you're just trying to indicate where the fur is, but using like shape and hue and color and everything, something like that. Whoops, I goofed. Let's put some of this in. I find it really weird painting under line art, but yeah. So this color is pretty nice. It's like reddish brown, super nice for this. Um, this yeah, kind of where fur. do you get it from? This reddish brown. Mhm. Mm I picked it, man. I picked it from the Random. color, from the color square. Yeah. Remember, <laughs> you just pick it and then you change the hue, and then see what what kind of look you want you know like a, a ready kind of hue is good for for darker colors or something can be good for darker like a blue hue is good for uh, shadows but you know you can adjust the hue based on how you want it to look mm. so we're gonna get some more red in like even though this is quite a red color because it's with all the other colors, it's looking. Well, actually, that's pretty pretty dark to be fair. I'm gonna bring this in. Yeah, super dark. Mhm. Mm like you don't want to be quite careful with your dark colors, because otherwise, if you go straight and dark and don't build up like this, it's gonna look really flat. Because you can see we have like a lot of what we've built up showing through underneath. Mhm. Mm that's why I kind of like painting like this, like this kind of like general kind of style you can paint it over the line art if that's what you're used to yeah i will i will i this is how i would normally do it i would paint under the line art as much as i can then i would realize that there's some issues on my line art that look weird so i'd go i'll paint over it okay. so here i want to get some blue in just to Bring this out and then I'm thinking that's a bit too strong so I'll paint over it but the blue is still there you know it still adds that depth to it mm -hmm. which looks nice but I'm not gonna go too much into like fur because I don't really <laughs> paint fur that much so I'm kind of just going off off my eye here yeah looks good But I guess fur has a kind of motion to it, so that's why I'm using a lot of these, like, this kind of stroke. Instead of just going, like, because I'm painting in the direction of where the tail will be going. That's why it has some, like, motion to it. Okay. Okay, that's a decent amount on the tail. I think I might have overdone it a bit, honestly. It looks a bit too dark now, like, the rest of the drawing looks a bit out of place. But um, you'll... Add more color to the rest, man. Yeah, we're adding more. So adding some of this orange, 
and she needs uh, her like buckle, what's it, belt, like the band around her leg. It's pretty cool. Oh, I know what I'm going to do for this. Let's see like yellow and pink. <clears throat> okay. I was originally thinking, um, no, 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 which color? That you use. Just dark, purple, black. Mm -hmm. For the sexy feel. Yeah. Still feeling, we're still like uh, thinking about our, our light and three thinking in 3D, remember? That's why I'm like keeping some of this white in, you know? Because that's where the light would be. Mm -hmm. I kind of want to have like some kind of uh, yellow on this as well. Maybe this will just be yellow in general. Oh wait, so it's like a buckle, isn't it? What is she actually wearing here? Is it like... What is it? Is it a, it's is like it a small jacket on the outside. Okay. Um, and that two stripes, it's like the zipper, you know, like... Or like the stripe. Would this look natural? I feel like hung down. Oh yeah, I guess that would make sense. I have a give this up to ugly duckling. Uh oh. What? I feel bad. I think it's one of the people check your rated. <laughs> <laughs> that was random. <laughs> well, that was strange. Right, I'm gonna sort my music out because this is pissing me off. Da -da 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 -da. that works I was gonna say the shoulder part mm -hmm. or the shadow it just reminds me of Cheetah Stripe. Cheetah Stripe, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I guess this just comes down to your knowledge of folds in clothing, I guess. How much you know that. Only based on instinct. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> You're so cute when you rotate her around. Yeah, it's like she's spinning. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, 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 too much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I guess this will go around, wouldn't it? Um, there's this weird white in her hair. I think it should be like this. So I like to use like a dark color as like the base tone of the hair, you know? 
like to really highlight where it is. But I will um, I'm gonna paint on top of the late the the um what's it called the the line up in a bit. I just want to quickly put the ears in. Her floppy ears. some of this yellow is that um lighter lighter side yep this should have like be way darker actually that shouldn't shouldn't be that much uh on here whoops It's weird because this looks like it should be blended in here, but I'm not blending that in. I'm being a dumbass. Because I'm, I'm thinking like it's red all the way through with this blouse type thing. You know? Mm -hmm. Let's get rid of some of this. You can go over stuff which you don't like with like a lighter color. And as you can see, it like blends it in. Like, the lighter color of this, just with a light touch. But we still keep the detail there, you know? And just build mm -hmm. up on it. Okay, let's paint on top, on the top layer. I just wanna figure out like, what do you think would be a cute color for our eyes? Shinex, hello, welcome back. Shinex. Shinex. Oh, no longer here. Oh, <laughs> you just trying to say that. Uh, okay, let's, let's find a good tune. Does anyone have any song requests? What are you doing? Crows fly back. I'm just gonna experiment a bit with her eye color. Cause what if she has like a strong orange in there? Okay. I didn't like this orange at first, so I added some, like, I guess you'll call this scarlet, uh, uh, purple? Something like that. I usually would go with. Spoiler alert! Mm hmm. Um, green, light blue purple. Oh yeah? Yeah, do whatever you want. I don't want to restrict so... She looks kind of high. This. <laughs> she, she is. Looks stoned. She looks really fucking high right now. Holy shit. <laughs> With the, <laughs> the red in her eyes? Yeah. She looks really stoned. That looks dumb. What do you mean by stoned? Stoned, high. I kind of like the orange eye though. Just yeah, make it. Looks kind of dumb. Lively. Looks dumb. Lively. Let's do the hair. So obviously, I, I actually think this lineup's pretty good, but um. I guess I'll show how I do here. Because what I would normally do as well is I would make a copy of the line art. So this is a line art, right? So I'll duplicate it. 
put it on top and then just hide it so that when I paint on top of the line art, if I forget where stuff is, I just show the original line art. Like, okay, I'll show you. So it, I'm painting on top. This, let's say this is painted on top, and then I unhide that layer I duplicated. You can still see the line art. Hope that makes sense. Uh, what? It's, there's probably a delay. <laughs> <laughs> but you'll see, you'll see what I'm talking about. Should I stream in Discord actually? I'll stream in Discord as well. So you can see real time. Um... If you want, if it's not gonna crash your PC. Well, we'll, we'll see. It's only like two second delay, so it's okay. It's okay. Let me know, connect oh. to the Discord. Yeah. Now. Very disco like color. Mm -hmm. I guess I just like using the, these kind of colors. Yeah, like um, Street Fighter style. Like Capcom. Mm -hmm. Is it laggy for you? No, it's all good. Okay. Stream's going good. Ooh. So apparently with this kind of style stroke, you feel me? Oh, I, I oh, wait. Hmm. Bringing in our highlights with a small size brush and then going back, picking this darker color increasing our brush size and then painting with the direction of it. That's how I just kind of do it. Looks really natural like that. I love that. It's a nice blending style, isn't it? It looks cool. You You're saying... You, sh you should be paying me for this all for you. I'm <laughs> joking. Get the dark edge in and then paint over it, paint into it with a low pressure and you can get that edge in, that style edge. Oh no! This is too beautiful! Let's bring some of the darks back in for where that was. I mean, even though this is against our light, there'll still be some highlights, you know, like this kind of highlight. But that's probably a bit too much, but whatevs. Whatevs, man. Let's get some of this purple in. Because, you know, when the hair reaches the root, there's like a bit of shadow isn't there. So we're going to indicate that. And also, around the hair, there's like a little line of light, depending on where it is. So I just generally indicate that, this kind of thing. Oh my god, it looks so good. This layer is on top of the line art, right? Yeah, it's on top of the line art. Yeah, but like you drew it so perfectly aligned with the line art. I think it just takes like practice to do that. I mean, because I, I just got used to doing that, um, painting on top of the line art. But you don't like have to do that, because if your line art's good enough, you can just, um, 
you know, you, you don't have to paint that much on top of it, right? Or but like, I only like little bits. I like how um, you're darkening the edge of the the lines. Yeah, it looks it it, really. That's, and with that to do that, I'm using this like purple. Like this dark purple has taken me so far, you know, with a light mm -hmm. touch. Um, but here I think I'll make it a red, a bit red, for some variation. Okay, what's a good song, Wolfie? What's a good tune? We need some relaxing Wait. music. Um, let me find something. I think I know now. Because, I mean, even though you're painting on top of the line art, if you paint with a light enough pressure, then the line art still shows through because it's transparent. Because, you know, like the way some programs do um, light strokes is they make it less, like, more and more transparent. So this is, like, no transparency, but this is, like, 60% transparent or something. So, like, it'll show through there. Mm -hmm. Whoops. God. You know that moment when you accidentally open some whole next program in Photoshop? Whole next Because you press you press the wrong key. Mm hmm Definitely need to uh Rewatch this, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me obviously this is away from the light right so that it'll go like this the shadow what it's a bit of shadow here oh who's that oh you play in my uh, chat in my actual chat you're using Light pink? Yeah, this is like a light pink. I'm just building it up. Let's get a bit darker in there though. I think... Uh, I think... Maybe I'll watch it on your stream instead. Okay. Why is it just... Um, the score is... Like... Floating. And a bit laggy. Plus, it doesn't show. Um, sometimes it doesn't show the, the color panel on the side. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, though. Was it working before? Was it working before? Ooh! Chucky is here. Chucky. It was, so here I want to use a bit of a blue, put, put in a little light blue there, um, okay, what's that tune you sent, where is it, better be good Wolfie, better be good. Mm -hmm. 
I haven't heard it before. Nice. <laughs> but I like the I like the singer. I like most of their songs. I just realized I'm not listening to your uh, <laughs> stream, so I'll just play it myself. So here we need some, you know, we should put like face shading, I guess, in there, but man, I'm lazy. So we'll just do this. Let me check the... Let me check the volume of your stream. What are you doing now? Can you- is it not showing up? Is it showing up for you? I wanna check how loud is your voice in the stream. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Oh, that's good. Cool. Keeping them lights in. I mean, this is where I get a bit weird, right? Because I'm trying to maintain your liner, and on here, maybe it's better not to, to not to draw like this in a way. It's a bit messy, like because I'm trying to put this in there. But um, obviously, like I said, we still have our above layer which we made, so we can still see where Wolfie's original liner was, and we can bring that back in. Like I think I with this, realized. probably would have been better to do this before you paint it above the layer. Just saying. Also, what the fuck is this? Songs that make you feel badass. <laughs> okay, okay. I feel quite badass right now. Uh, let's... <laughs> let's pick another song. That was a good song though. It's a good tune. Play the second one in the chat. Oh, I thought they were the same tune. Alright, after this. Did mm -hmm. you say uh, that should be done before whatever? Yeah. Oh, also, we um, since we're playing on this layer, we can make another layer. I like to make a few multiple layers and I merge them down after I'm done with them. Why? Mm -hmm. Because my computer lacks, so I'd need a few layers. <laughs> That's the only reason. <laughs> <laughs> but also it helps you um, manage what you're working on, so it's a good idea to keep merging, to merge layers you don't need. You don't want to have like 10 layers with just one brushstroke in them, right? It gets a bit messy, so it helps keep it neat. What, what did you say? Um, something should be fixed before so i you see this skin kind of uh what's it called coloring in this with the light i should have mm -hmm. done that before i painted above it because i could have just done this on the thing lower thing. layer yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah oh it's just because i was trying to move on to other parts of the coloring so i don't really want to put so this brown is the one we picked up here. I think it looks a bit like plain. So taking that same brown though, let's in change the hue of it. Like a red, more of a red. And then paint lightly in. And that looks better, that's so more natural. Because like on surface value you might think, oh that's the same color from there, but then you zoom in, it's slightly different. Mm -hmm. I like reddish. And we can bring that in here as well. Taking some of that purple from earlier, let's put it in here. And then bring this back. 
and some purple along the collar. Darker purple on one side. How do your eyes go, Wolfie? Like, do they, do they taper in, like, on the corner or? Forget it. I'm doing it this way. <laughs> I've decided. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still like this. Oh yeah. I guess I didn't move it back. Hey, Raindrops. Raindrops. Hello. Join the join the call if you feel like it. That goes to everyone actually. What's in my where in my Discord? So you can just jump in. Just look. How's your How's your nap, dude? So normally we'd also add, it's like you know where the hair is. We would add like a drop shadow under here with like a. I like to use a red for this skin tone, but we could. It's It's really easy to overdo this, so I just do a little uh, little shadow. But you can have a lot of fun with that. I, I mean, it should it should actually be a bit darker. But... Mm. It was good. This is so beautiful. She's cute. Athena so cute. I'm gonna make another leg because I'm a pussy, and I don't want to mess that up. I did that. But now we can actually like really bring out this like uh, strap she's got on her uh, shirt but obviously this is quite a dark color you need to be careful with it you don't want to be going in like that like this and, and that you want to be like careful because the light's coming from here right so we I mean we really should be putting like a strong color there but I'm just trying to highlight where this line is so I can paint it easily. You know, easy for myself to see. And then because her boobs are round, the color, well, the, sh the shadow is going to go around it like this from there. Because obviously this will have, a sh even, it'll have even a small shadow, even though the light's from here. Yes, sir. I I just realized the shape of her Huge oppai. I'm gonna bring you some light blue hair because I'm a I'm a madman. That's why. Why? Because I can. Because you could taste the rainbow. Oh shit! Hello. How you doing? Ooh. Good morning. Good morning. morning. More like good night. <laughs> <laughs> More like I'm going back to sleep. See you later. Yeah. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? Ah! I am okay. Fine, fine. You just woke up. You don't have work today? No, I'm off on Wednesdays. Oh, nice. And Tuesdays. Monster Hunter with Zynex after this. And Wolfie when she buys it. <laughs> if he's, if Zynex is still up for playing. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, uh, right, man. You right. So I just woke up. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> with this base tone for our hands, right? We're gonna still consider where the light is. And uh, don't look at me like I'm some expert for hands, cause uh, I'm just. Uh, I'm decent. An I'm decent at that. But like this is so general, but because you're considering where the light is and how that's like 
white and like the color, it it looks fine. That's so general. And then we can paint, and when then when you add in darker colors to that, like some of this red and some of this blue, all of a sudden, bam! You got yourself a hand. All of a sudden, damn! You have a hand. I gotta hand it to you. I have to hand it to you. Yeah, exactly. That. Mm -hmm. I can't draw in this perspective. Uh, portrait, not portrait, whatever it's called. Oh, what, what? My brain. Okay. Well, I need to go back to sleep then. I guess my brain's not working. <sighs> Around the, the hands, I'll be able to see a little shadow as well. So make sure you get that in there. You really like using blue as shadow. Yeah, it's so good. Instead of using black, use like a. Not that there's anything Dark wrong blue. with using black. Dark blue is really good. Mm -hmm. Black is actually a bit too much. Yeah. I like, a lot of people say like, blue is actually a better choice than black. But there's nothing wrong with using black. Like, this is pretty much a black. But Yeah, yeah, of course. But just like, when you have like a darker blue, you could change the like color value and stuff like that and mm -hmm. get more, uh, you know, depth into the shadows and stuff like that, right? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. That's why I'm using blue here. It just looks cool. I love it. It's a little bit because it's blue. It's pretty cool. It looks pretty nice, yeah. I I was thinking like um, like for the hand, maybe brown, like a dark, dark orange. What? Yes, brown. Zynex. Zynex. But yeah, just do what, what you usually do. I don't know how you choose this hand, Wolfie, but um, I'm trying my best here. <laughs> Lord, I'm trying my best. <laughs> <laughs> just draw over the line. Just draw over the line. Oh, no. This looks funny. I'll just uh, <laughs> leave it like this. <laughs> I'll just uh, do this, do this. Sure, why not? <laughs> why not? <laughs> um, perfect. Just add it. Um, Rain, help me with Zeno. I need horns. Hornator. I need Hornator. I am tired. Maybe. I will. Alright. Tell him to get on. I'll do it now. Cool. Get on, Zanuck. If, if he doesn't get on right now, then I'm just gonna go back to drawing. The <laughs> 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 chicken thigh. I love it. Get on, Master Hunter, probably. Um... The only thing that's important. Monster Hunter is hunting monsters. Yeah. I felt like I did nothing this whole day. I was supposed to clean up and get ready to pack up to drive. Well, not pack up to drive, but pack up to get ready to move. Are you saying that you're, you doing artwork is nothing? Yep, I am oh, nothing. For shame. For shame, Ranger. Oh, no. Pass me. Imagine how your. Your drawings feel when you say that. Yeah. Oh, hey, Cosmic. How you doing? It's a mutual feeling. <laughs> no, your artwork wants you to be like, I really enjoyed painting you. Uh, and just saying you, that there's nothing. That's what I said. Sintel. What what is like wrapped around us? The, 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 wrapped around her. It's like a. Right. Is it like a leather strap? Probably. I don't know. She's strapped up. Eh, you, up. you drew it. I don't know. Maybe it's like a. You can interpret it however you want. Maybe she did like how Yu Gi Oh characters have it with a bunch of belts. 
a belt. Somehow I don't feel a belt is mm. what we need mm. here. And I don't feel like it's drawing a leash. cloth. It's a body leash. A leash. Yes, it should be a leash. What do leashes look like? Put holes in them. Leash. It's a dog leash. Like, what? like brown? I mean, mm -hmm. technically, the leash can be any color, honestly. Can someone send a leash reference in the, in the Discord? Pull him back. Zynex. Let's go, Zynex. Are we gonna hunt this Chow. monster? Or? How are you guys? Um, we're doing okay. Wait, this Chow is in Chow, like uh, Sonic Chow. Isn't it Chow's in Chow? You know, like Chow's in. See, like Chowtsu? You are the Chowson one. Like the Chow's the Chowtsu one. But yeah, I'm doing okay. How's uh, how are you guys? I'm learning. Good. I'm Very just here. already seven. Very good. In Chow. Damn, thirty six. Fuck that dude all day. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hey you, you should join our Discord. It's free and we have a group of active members. Sure do. Indeed, you are active. Sure do. I'm always active. My second song, my second song. Oh yeah, my bad. My bad. You're a papega, babe. Thanks. You're a papega, Rev. That makes it all worth it. Is he not in here? I don't have it. Oh shit. Maybe there's um... Okay, so she's got like these. Like, what's what's up? What what here? What, what, what's her panties like? They're like. Oh, this is where our original lines come in. Handy. I guess. Maybe she, maybe she doesn't. Hey, 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 she's wearing something. Don't use that color. <laughs> <laughs> no, this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe she has like. Maybe these are shorts or something, I don't know. Yeah, oh, some kind you, of uh, something. Are you able to join? Or... You posted the quest? Yeah, I posted it already. Sign X! Sign sign! Get on! Raindrome! Monster Hunter! Oh, I'm already on! You're okay. too slow! I've been on for like... <laughs> the past 10 minutes! <laughs> should I go Maybe for... you should get on! <laughs> Great! I'm gonna go charge a baby. Nah, I'm gonna go. That's fine. I'm gonna go, go, go ahead and go. you wanna go. I'm okay with you. I'm sorry if I'm put back here. No, we're just gonna kill a monster. It's not a big deal. Still a perfect. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna do like two hunts and then I'm gonna go find something to eat. Cool. Thank you. I just need two horns if the two horns drops. <laughs> Yeah, it'll drop. It's, it's a... We're doing the event, so it should probably drop. Just Painting pick your abs. This How is does the, one uh, tempered paint drop. abs? Tempered? Mm -hmm. Tempered? You, you are a bitch. Mm -hmm. It's over here, right? 
I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember it. <laughs> I don't play this thing anymore. Yeah, I don't remember. I, I, I'm. S All right. Tail is his weak point, and his head's the weak point. Yeah. You're still grabbing. Right, so here we go. We just painted our abs using the same technique, basically. That's why I wasn't talking much. I mean, it's just about keeping the light in, getting a saturated colors in. I use a bit of purple here because I just right. felt like it needed it. All right, so I'm gonna weaken the uh, the guy, okay? And we're gonna Tonics, and quickly, then we're gonna yeah. go beat the fuck out of him, okay? Just okay. so I can explain this, I'll keep you guys a bit lower. I'll turn you guys up in a bit. <clears throat> But yeah. This is a nice song. Yeah, I love that song. It's a nice tune. Okay, Habibs need need some color. So we're gonna bring some red. That would be so. You're kind of saying her skin color is that color, but then there's shadows, so you use purple for it. Yeah, that's exactly it to give it more depth. And there you go. That was pretty good as like a like a bust. Just indicating it. Pink for the for the shadow. This isn't a shadow. This is kind of like where the light is sort of bouncing on it. Because remember they're round, right? So it comes in from all directions. Mm. Oh, it's a cute tune. I'll save that to my playlist. Well, I wasn't expecting him to look like that. Well, it was a girl singing. Uh, anyway, <laughs> save that. Okay. Um, let's get our original tune. Wait, which song are you saving? The second one. The second one? But I yes. think it's... It's not the one I sent. It is the one you sent. But the one you saved is not the one I sent. It should be March in the Rain. Oh, my bad. <laughs> okay, I'll do that in a bit. <laughs> so there's some shadow here from the... A little bit from her... What do you call this? Shot? Bit of, this needs to be darker because obviously it's a shadow away from the light. And let's get some darks in here. Okay, I think, so that's pretty much like part one honestly. There isn't much else for me to say on this one um, that I can do quickly for it to be like, you know like a bite-sized kind of tutorial thing, but I think we went over some of the basics, right? Some of the basics. Mm -hmm. Do you want to, is there anything specifically now you want to know? Or? Wow. Good job, Cosmic. Okay. Nice. 20, God, love winning 20. I love a good game of chess, man. Gotta you should it. I record that. <laughs> mm -hmm. It was free win, minute into a draw. Oh, you, I messed up. Oh. <laughs> oh, 
Wow, wow, you better learn the your opponent. Are you gonna are you gonna finish drawing this? Yeah, I think I will. Off stream. Thank she you. Looks gorgeous. Nani? And this is like your signature. <laughs> yeah. So your signature. Um. Because then it's like a pretty decent. I can actually upload this to YouTube, can't I? Um, yes, please. So it's a pretty good way of me doing that. So that's what I'll do. Um, thanks for joining us for this little short thing stream tutorial thing. Um, I'll probably be streaming tomorrow, possibly. Like a proper stream, you know, the usual streams. So I hope to see you guys there. And we can actually Thank paint you. and colour and draw and do all sorts of stuff that we normally do. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So till then, catch you in the next stream. Bye.